So I'm um, excited to be with you again this week. And uh, I want to talk about mothers today because Mother's Day is coming this Sunday. And if you're alive, it's because you have a mother or you've had a mother. All right. So um, this is something universal to all of us. So sparrows, I just as I talk about this, I just want you to appreciate your own mother um, and think about her. And I'm going to give you like three little snapshots of mother in the Bible. Um, but I am and I want to celebrate mothers and just women in general uh, that God made made women in this world and gave them the ability to birth you to birth me. Um, I think I'll start out with just saying, you know, I, I have a unique situation. I have two mothers and a, and a mother, a mother that adopted me and a mother that I was born from. And they both in their own ways. Um, I went, you know, my mother that I was born from gave me life and I was separated from her for 24 years. She never forgot me. She always looked for me. That's part of a mother's heart. A mother doesn't forget her child. That's what a mother is like. We can be thankful for that. My adoptive mother took care of me, raised me, provided for me, did all the things that helped me grow into who I am. Um, one, one of the things that she did, she had me reading with her very, very early on. I was reading at a sixth grade level when I was in first grade because of her. And I, my, my gifts of, re of reading and writing all come from my mother. I'm so thankful for her as I approach this Mother's Day. She's been gone since 1983, but legacy lives on inside of me. Well, there's some snapshots in the Bible. There was a woman named Hannah in First Samuel, uh, book of First Samuel. Hannah could not have children, and she was grieved over that. And she prayed and wept tears to God that she would be able to have a son and then told God that if she did, she would dedicate that son to God. Well, God answered this mother's mother heart prayer, and she got a son and named him Samuel. And she, like she promised God, she dedicated them to God, brought him to the temple to live, where she would visit him, but that's where he lived and grew. Hannah, uh, what a, a couple of the characteristics of mothers is they have faith. It takes faith to raise a child. And um, it took faith for her to have the miracle of being able to have a child. And then she sacrificed. She gave her child to the dedication of God to serve in the temple. Samuel became one of the greatest prophets in the history of Israel because of Hannah. And um, a mother sacrifices. Maybe you don't know that, but your mother, I can guarantee you without even knowing your mother has sacrificed plenty for you. And your mother has raised you in faith. And you, Sparrows, here's your job in this, as I'm doing this. Like what I just said, I want you to go to your mother at some point today and say, thank you, mom, for the sacrifices you've made for me. Appreciate your mother. They're the most extraordinary people in the world and the most taken for granted. Um, a second person in the Bible is Jesus' mother. And we don't think about this very much, but Mary was chosen to be the mother of Jesus. What, what an awesome privilege and kind of terrifying responsibility. She bears the son of God. We don't, the thing that we don't think of very much when we think about Jesus is all those early years till he was 18 or so, Mary mothered Jesus. She protected him. She took care of him. And I think it's safe to say that a number of the stories that Jesus tells in the Bible come from Mary at her knee, rehearsing stories and scripture with him. Our mothers are our teachers. They're the ones that guide us, grow us, protect us, and help us to become who we are. Mary did that with Jesus. But you know what? You're special, Sparrows. You're a special child, too. And your mothers take care of you in incredible ways. Make sure you say thank you to your mother this week for the way she has taught you, been faithful to you, been by your side. I know Jesus, uh, in his early years, tripped and skinned his knee and was crying. Who comforted him? Mary, his mother. Mother's comfort. Have you guys experienced comfort from your mother? I bet you have. Tell her thanks today. Um, 
The third one is not a person, but it's a verse out of Isaiah 49, 14, because ultimately, you know, we always talk about God as father, right? But God is also mother. And the scriptures have many uh, allusions to the feminine nature of God, the mothering nature of God. This one's very powerful. Israel said, God has forgotten me. Here's what, here's God's response. Can a mother forget the baby at her breast or the child of her womb? Even if she could forget you, I will not forget you. See, I've engraved you on the palms of my hands. God has a mothering heart. All mothers come from God. It's God's mothering love that makes mothers. And um, in here we see such a tender, beautiful thing. God is saying, do you think I could forget you? How could I forget the one that was at my breast or, the, or from my womb? I've engraved you in the palms of my hands. Do you know that's how your mother feels about you? She would never forget you, ever. And in a sense, you are engraved on her hands, but more than her hands, you're engraved in her heart. You are part of her flesh. And um, I just think, again, thank your mothers that they've not forgotten you, that they are there for you, that they hold you dearly in their hearts. And so the upshot of all of this is realize what your mother has done for you and celebrate her. Don't just think about it. Make sure you tell her. Make sure you let her know. And Mother's Day isn't just one day. We are to appreciate our mothers every single day. So thank you, God, that you were a mother that made mothers and that blessed each one of us. Amen.